Jack McDade was Dick Clark's first musical guest when he took over American Bandstand. They went on to become longtime friends. Congressman David Dreyer of California was Dick Clark's neighbor and saw him just a couple of weeks ago. Good morning to both of you and our condolences to you. Thank you. Thank Good morning, you. man. Jack, you, you stayed friends. You wrote letters back and forth over the yes. years. Tell me about the personal side of the guy you knew. Old school correspondence. We wrote letters and he card. We talked about uh, his life, you know, his health, how he was doing all through the years. And he was a very supportive guy, as by all the people who have made those testimonials will say. He was the type of person who took an interest in you. You know, when somebody's alive, they say, things about them aren't always true. They say wonderful things about you when you die, obviously. But this guy is someone you could say good things about him when he was living and when he passed away. You asked him advice on a lot of things yes, at I key did. moments in your life. What yeah. kinds of advice did he I'd, offer? I'd had uh, like a hit record with Without Love uh, in, back in 57, 56. And he had a show. It was almost like uh, the idol, you know, Star Search, that type of thing. But it was amateurs. I called him up. I said, Dick, you know, can, can I come on your show? He said, Jack. That's, he spoke to me. He said, not really what you want to do. It's not the best thing for your career. And you listened to him. I listened to him when it was, he was correct. How do you think he remained relevant for so many years? He was the kind of guy who was just, he had a keen interest in things, and he had a sense of, of people, how people, how, how they would react to things. He was, he was instrumental, really, in getting acceptance of rock and roll with the parents of the teenagers that you see dancing on the show. Congressman, let me bring you in on this. You're a neighbor yeah. of Dick Clark's, and you saw him just a couple of weeks ago. How is yeah. he doing? Well, I'll tell you, he was doing extremely well. He had uh, Easter with his uh, wonderful family, his wife, Carrie, with whom I spoke last night, and his three great kids, all of whom are in the industry, Rack, Dwayne, and Cindy. And um, I, I will say that he had this fighting spirit, and everybody said all these wonderful things, but I want to tell you a couple of things about the fact that, you know, in your interview with him, he said he had a lot of miles left in him, and I will tell you, over the last many miles, he's been going strong and working hard. Sure, he suffered a stroke, in 2004, but he was a fighter. Yesterday morning, he had breakfast with Carrie in the hospital after very minor surgery, and he was scheduled this morning to have cataract surgery. He had one cataract uh, I, uh, I operated on last week, and it worked out really well. Let me tell you a couple of things. First of all, he loved dogs, and guess what he named his dogs, Mac? Uh, Matt, he, he named them uh, Henry, a Weimaranger, for I'm Henry the Eighth, I am. He had one dog <laughs> named Arthur for Arthur's theme. He had two little pugs, one of whom is named Jonesy for me and Mrs. Jones, one of whom is called Leroy for Bad Bad Leroy Brown. <laughs> and uh, so he really, he was someone who had a great zest for life. And I was, I'm getting ready to leave the Congress, and he provided me with great advice and counsel uh, after my 32 years uh, here in the Congress. And uh, he had lots and lots of friends, and all these great things have been said about him, but as I said on the House floor yesterday, he was an amazing businessman, and I always listened to everything that Dick said because he always was extraordinarily prescient, one of the it, smartest men I've ever known. In just a couple of seconds left that I have with you, Congressman Dreyer, was he interested at all in politics? Uh, yeah, but I'm not going to talk about our discussions uh, on, on politics, yeah. He was very prescient. <laughs> He had uh, a great, great uh, depth of understanding of things, and he was not too crazy about Washington because of what he went through in, the, right. uh, in 1960 yeah. here. Uh, and, and, and Jack, just to, to wrap it up in the 10, 15 seconds I have left, what did it mean to an artist to get Dick Clark's stamp of approval? Well, Dick gave me an opening for all my shows. He recorded, pre-recorded it, and to me that was amazing. Just sets the tone. No matter what the generation was in the audience, people accepted you. Yeah. He gave me my Andy Warhol, my 15 minutes of Real fame. quick, Congressman, I've only got five could seconds. I, could I tell you, Matt, his favorite music was Bossa Nova, and he just gave me the, the CD of Tony Bennett and his duets, and he loves Steve Terrell, and so that, those were some of his favorites. Yeah. Yeah. Congressman David Dreyer and Jack McDade. Nice Guys, to be thanks with so much. Thank you, Matt. Again, our condolences. We've got a live concert from Train coming up in our next half hour. That's after your local news. Okay.